Hi everybody, it's Colin here from Woodthorpe International. Well, the main construction is done, it's the right way up now. And it won't be turned over again, I don't think. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, the main construction is done. I've started to do some other bits which I'll explain. Um, it looks grand it really does look grand so i'll show you what i'm up to now what i wanted to do was bank the track elevate the track so as it goes round it's leaning into the middle and i got some different sizes of wood and if i just put these two together it's a tad more than what I would have liked it to be um, it's more at, uh, just in the middle really doesn't make it again yeah it's just a tad more than I would have liked I'll show you with the coaches on um, I'll just put these some European ones I had handy. Right, they're on now. So when we look at the the bank on it, like I say, it's a fraction more. Now if I show you a one on the super elevated um Cato track. It's there, and clearly you can see it's leaning, but it's not, it's, it nearly needs a millimetre off the outside, but that will take some doing with small pieces of wood, so I'm going to go for it. Now what I did find, what I do is I just stuck this down, these pieces down, with three dobs of super glue, and I've done the same with the track. Now what I have found that the super glue won't stick to the track, you know, the plastic sleepers, unless you score it a bit. Just sand it. So I've just taken the edge off. Because it's very, it really is super smooth. Uh, so I'll just run over a bit of sandpaper and just to see if it'll stick. And it clearly has and there's only three bits of glue on just a little dab in three places and it's holding it and when it's on the bridge it won't be as tight as that as well uh, but just to show you what I've been doing is I've stuck it down and you can see the difference in size and one on the outside. Now these here are stuck out and they're going to be stuck out at both sides like that because that has to continue the curve all the way around and this bit the line comes up here so that's got to have an, like a, 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 a full bridge so it's not open um, that's the plan now if I just go around here you can see I put some running boards on now at each one of these I will mitre just cut it slightly on an angle to go around and I'm just going to put three on each because the sleeper overhangs, as you know from the chair, it overhangs a bit. And it'll just give this a bit of clearance for it to stick on. I might even have to, on the outside, but the inside of the curve, but the back corner of the uh, overhang of the sleeper, I might just have to take the back off a little bit just so it touches this and not onto that bit 
I could move that out a bit more, but I don't know yet. I'm still in the, I've got it in my head, but I haven't put it onto, into practice yet. What I did was, well, I've, I've stuck the inside one on first. And when I was at the show, and I showed you this last two or three videos ago, I got this from West Hill Wagon Works. And it had the rail gauge in for different sizes. If I can just get it to focus. Ooh, come on. There you are. Now, I assume this measures the same as Pico. I have some Pico spaces, but where they are, they're away in storage. I was going to do it the gap to be this wide because if it, if Kato's stuff goes round it, all our stuff will go but if you look it's just a tad wider it's just a little bit wider by about an eighth of an inch two or three mil so I decided to use this and what I've done is I put a groove in on that one and on there so when I sit that onto there like that that gives me in the space and with these being thicker or higher I had to just cut it in so the actual bottom of that that bit sits on the wood and then uh, I've stuck it all the way around and got that one on first and then everything else is easy I'll just put that on push it up mark it and put some glue on and I've done all the way around I've just staggered the joints in the structure of the um, strength these will not make any difference to the strength at all but it's habit me staggering joints especially in timber um, now what we did decide to do was put like this pelmet round the edge to join each one of these up and I've just had to put a join on here and there's another one round there and the same on the inside now that was for two reasons one we thought at first it will finish it off so when you look at it, it looks like another runner. Well, that is. But the other thing I've got to do is put a handrail round, all the way around it, on the inside and outside. And then also going round, if you can imagine, if I just take... Try and take these three. I'll show you. If I lay them out. So what I'll have to do every now and then, if you can imagine those are square, I'm going to have to put a, a thing what comes out for the workmen to stand in if a train comes because. As it goes round, it cuts a corner, so there's got to be safety areas, and I'll have to put railings round that. But what I'm going to use for the railings, I'll show you what I'm going to be up to. So what I've got to do is put this handrail round, and it's going to look something like that. Now, the man... I've used has just looked over the edge and he's gone all white I think he's scared of heights <laughs> but I'm only going to put one roll at the top but what they do do down here if you look on the inside if you can imagine that piece at the bottom is a kicking board and that's so stuff doesn't fall outwards um, let me refocus. 
Come on. So if they have any tools, it just goes up against that and doesn't roll off. And then I'm just putting one at the top, which it's a little bit thick, but again, it's I'm, I'm having to represent it and I'm doing it like that so it can be seen. But what they would do is they would have a they'll have a harness on and they'll have a ring what goes round the wood and as they walk round they'll just stop and hook it on the next one and then carry on walking. Uh if they can be bothered to put it on. But at least there's a bit of safety there and then I'll have to do that effect going off. I've just temporarily cramped a short piece of wood on just to show what I've got to do. Now to do this rail, I've got to do 86 posts at that height and stick them on. And what we're going to do, because again, doing the research, there's one on every, you know, upright and then there's one in the middle. So that's why there's 86 on, you know, in total on both sides. Now another thing what's quite interesting, up to the point of the structure, not including the pel this is what I'm calling the pelmet, this piece, and anything on top of the deck, just to build it, there are 1,327 separate pieces of wood totaling 243 meters uh, that is quite a lot of wood but i am so chuffed with it and the idea the other idea i've got for this uh kicking board is because when i put three on on the inside if I just get one here, when it goes on the inside, I can push it up to the centre post, but I can't at the ends, and I'm not going to curve each piece of wood so there'll be a gap. But the kicking board will cover it. Uh, and you won't see it that way as obvious as you know it won't stick out like a sore thumb so and the same on the outside i can get it to be flush on the outside posts say the one on here and the one on there but the inside it'll be back a bit but again the kicking board will cover that gap and then the sleeper and that but you don't like on this you don't have boards underneath that you see through it and uh, what I'll have to do is is take this color off and put and paint it brown you know to match because everything would be not match exact but it'll all be made at the same time and there is different variations in color and that's what we was aiming for but uh, that is really how we're going with it. So what I've got to do now is continue them all the way around and then start putting the running boards on. Then I'm going to put, of all the place here, I want to use flexi track uh, so it matches, you know, because of the curve it is, but I'm going to have to use code 80 because I need to put on a rail on the inside. If this is, this should be where the metal rail sits. That's the idea of this. But I'll have to put another metal rail in between, but sat on top of the sleepers. Now, code 55, if you didn't know, 
if I can shove it on here, let me get down on my hands and knees. I won't like it, but never mind. Oh dear, how are we going to focus this? <laughs> now, let me just draw you somewhat down. Basically, uh -oh. the sleeper is like that, and then there's a slot which that is a bit wide, of course, for the rail to sit in. So the rail sits like that. Um, but code 80, the actual rail sits on top of the sleepers and the chairs are there where the chains, chairs are higher up. And I want that and that to finish the same. So if I use code 80 for the track going round and then put a code 55 rail on the inside, and then the wheel flange runs in that gap up to the axle and there's the wheel you know I don't do drawing going across to the other but then it's it can't just fall off and there's one this way to guide it and it just helps to hold it on so uh, when it comes to say the end what I'll have to do is then just curve it in towards the center. And again, it's if the the track is, the train is already off, it helps realign it, you know, put it back on. So that's what I've got to do with that. And that's why I'm going to use code 80 just for the bridge and then code 55 for the rest, except for the helix, as you know, and just seen that is Kato track. But, um, I'm just having to use flexi round it, which is fine. So that's it. That's basically the size. And when this, what I have to do with this, I have to continue this curve. So that will be on a curve like that. They'll be on a curve. It won't just go straight. It will have to curve. So I'll have to. Before I do too much of this, I'll have to cut a thin board to go in between to the shape of this radius for there, over there, and here. And then when it finishes, that should then go straight across to the other side. So it's a full 180 degrees turn. So... And then on this being the inside and the helix will be here. As the helix goes round here, it might have it'll have a bigger gap and it'll get a bit tighter, but there's still a gap. All this will be rock formation going down on the inside, and then there'll be a waterfall coming down and then going underneath. And then when you look at it from the outside. These rocks will be here and coming down and there'll be all sorts of um, you know, bushes. And I'm going to put some trees in front of it. Uh, and down, you know, the land will come a bit lower here. It will come off like down here a bit. And then underneath this, if you can imagine, Japan's going to go underneath it. But you're not going to see it from looking down at this angle but I will have a gap so as the land comes down it'll stop then there'll be a space with Japan running underneath so if anything comes off I can get to it because the helix is on the other side and get my hand through from the middle to there will be very difficult so again that's the idea and if we go to the here where the bridge then comes round wherever it is on this helix it could come round 
and in the background there'll be a mountain or a hillside going up here so when you look at it there'll be all hill and water coming down and disappearing behind and coming out in front that's the plan and if anything comes off on the helix I'll be able to get it from the inside even though I might not be climbing underneath to get to it somebody else might be going in there so uh, at least we can get to the stuff because half of it will be covered so that's it the right way up over the moon absolutely over the moon with it um, I can't tell you any more up to now I think that's you're up to date with me I've got a lot more wood to stain and grain all the running boards all these running boards have to be grained and stained and then it'll all have to be cut but I'm looking forward to it the, what I had in my head is working so far this handrail and he's, he's still not feeling very well that block he's still lost all his colour uh, that as I was on the fence if I was going to literally a handrail a fence I was on the fence about putting it on but I've decided it needs to be it needs to be on so that's what I've got to do so the next video I have some big news and that will be hopefully next week um, it's not a bigger bridge or a bigger ship but it's exciting news so thanks very much for watching and uh, thank you for all the new subscribers and I'll speak to you next week. Bye for now. Bye.